Okay, once you've gouged everything out and you got them as deep as they should be, not just skimmed across the top, but as deep as they can be, remember, you don't have to do this black stuff because, yippee, today we get to use some more gouges. This is the one you have been using, the regular V-shaped gouge. Here's one that's a little bit deeper and wider. You also have some U-shaped gouges, a small one and a larger one. And they both have a razor side. That's the side you cut with is the razor side. The V-shaped gouges can make a variety of texture. With the small V-shaped gouge, you can get this really great hair texture and this really great hair texture, both with V-shaped gouge one was the smaller gouge, one was the larger gouge. And look at how the texture that was created looks like hair because um, while we are going to take the black stuff away, the whole point is not just to take stuff away. The whole point is to create a texture. The um, U-shaped gouge here was what was used to make these wider marks. And we don't go all the way to the to the cloth on the other side would kind of dip across the top. Here's another one that shows the hair-like texture and it follows across and that was either the um, small U or the large U. I can't really tell you which. This was definitely the larger U to make this kind of texture. When we mix textures like here we can create an emotion. This looks like kind of an angry hair. And uh, so this part right here I can tell was the V-shaped gouge, but some of the other, such as that, was clearly the U-shaped gouge. We can get kind of fancy and do swirls. We can make stuff up. Now in the um, original of this, it didn't have flowers in the background, it was just empty, but you can make stuff up. She did not have that curl on her hair. That looks pretty cool. He added a swirl. His um, outlines, he went in with a wider gouge and he made those wider. Once you've done yours, you can do that as well. This is with the smaller V-shaped gouge and it looks like hair. This was done by um, rocking the gouge. Here's a variety of gouges to make um, angry hair. And this is probably the U-shaped gouge. So, decide what texture you want to create. In the process of creating the texture, you're also going to be taking away the, the parts you shaded. This is rocking. This is nibbling. Of course, you can swirl, but don't get so focused on taking away the black that that becomes what your, your goal. Your goal is not simply to take away the black, but you will. Your goal is to create an effective texture, a texture that fits. Here um, was an a texture that was added. In the center of the eye, you can be very creative with how you do it, but you will take away all the black and you will create a texture. You can use any of the tools that you wish and good gouging.